Hi, this is Dr. Rosenberg with Appalachian Spring Dermatology, and I'm here today to talk to you about a procedure called photodynamic therapy, which we've talked about before, both on our blog and on our YouTube page. But we have some new changes and some new updates to that, and so today we're going to talk about that a little bit, and we're going to try it out with me because when things are new at the office, the first person who's the guinea pig is always me. So, uh, this shouldn't be a big problem though, it should go very well. <laughs> uh, so, the photodynamic therapy is a procedure where on an area where there's sun damage, we apply a solution called amino levulonic acid. Uh, there are two main name brands that that's went by in the past, one called Levulon, a newer one called Amylose, and then the newest to the market is Glyco ALA, so we'll talk about that today. The other two are higher concentration, 15 and 10 percent. Um, the Glyco ALA is actually a 2 percent. Uh, the goal is to achieve great cosmetic effect without uh, and avoid a lot of the downtime and irritation that we see with the higher concentrations. So we use this procedure and has been used since early in the 2000s, long before I started even my practice in 2005. We've used this procedure to treat acne, rosacea, and actinic keratosis or precancer spots. But it also has great cosmetic effect. And so the goal with the Glyco ALA is to get the cosmetic effect without the intensity that's required to kill the precancer spots. So we're going to try that out today. One of the things that has chronically bothered me is my neck and chest um, because I've worked very well on my face over the years, so my neck and chest less so. So those are the things we're going to be focusing on a little bit this spring in preparation for getting to, uh, looking good in those summer clothes. So um, we'll show you how it's applied and we're also going to introduce you today to our new red light. So traditionally we have used blue light for photodynamic therapy, uh, however you can also use red light. The benefit of red light is that it penetrates a little deeper in the skin than blue light does, therefore it can have better cosmetic effect. The uh, Glyco ALA also is designed to penetrate a little deeper in the skin because of how it's formulated. So um, the red light as well can stimulate collagen and elastin growth on its own, but we're going to amplify it by adding the solution today. With this procedure, there is traditionally some downtime where you can have a sunburn-like reaction that peels for about to, up to seven days. So one of the things we'll be finding out with starting doing the Glyco ALA is what is the downtime and what is the recovery time. So at the end of this video, we will show you over a week what the um, before and after look like. It will really take up to six to eight weeks to see the full effect on the after, but the initial pictures we let you to know to let you know what downtime to expect. So we'll get started. So we're going to start the procedure of the photodynamic therapy using the Glyco ALA by Rebecca cleansing my skin and then she's going to apply the product. It will then incubate for about an hour uh, while I relax a little bit prior to applying the light. So I'm going to let her get started. And what we use to cleanse the skin is the um, Zio Skin Health um, Gentle Cleanser. So this is good for all skin types. And Rebecca also does a series of facials here in the office using the Zio skin products. So you could combine um, doing um, this procedure on your face, neck, arms, chest, and or a facial on, your, on the face if you're not treating the face that day. Get the full works. So one of the things I'm hoping to improve with this um, is the discoloration on my chest and neck. The discoloration on the neck that often occurs in like an hourglass shape on the neck uh, is called poikiloderma, and that just comes from chronic sun damage. Usually there is a little bit of a red-brown discoloration um, as well as um, a little bit of change in texture of the skin. So the texture of the skin often gets to be um, like a chicken skinny kind of texture, a little bit crepey um, in that area. So as I said before in the video, I've done really well over the past, I don't know, 20 years now trying to take good care of my face. 
but uh, not doing so well at being aggressive with my skincare. All my neck and chest is catching up with me. So uh, we're going to try to give that a little bit of boost so I can be more confident and happy with it for spring and summer. So she just finished cleansing and now she's going to apply, apply the product. So when we do the treatment officially in the office, um, you know, you can start is sometimes hard to know where to start and stop. So for any individual treatment, we'll treat an area about the size of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, maybe a little bit wider, but that's approximately the right area. That's amount, the right amount of solution as well as about the size of the area that our red light will cover as well. So, and so she's going to apply the Glyco ALA and um, it can be applied and just um, left to dry. There are a number of studies that show when you're trying to get the aminolovulonic acid or anything to penetrate better in the skin, um, if you apply um, saran wrap over the area of all things, that helps it penetrate better in the skin, um, as well as heat can help it penetrate better in the skin. Today, we're just going to do it without those things, but um, we may play around with that a little bit more over time as well. We have started already using the saran wrap and the heat for our patients who are having traditional photodynamic therapy in the office. So again, the goal of this is it's using a lighter, milder 2% solution to achieve the same cosmetic effect that we often achieve with photodynamic therapy without the same amount of downtime and without the need to kill additional precancerous spots, which was required um, when we're using it to treat precancer spots, maybe at the higher concentration. Okay, All right. so this will incubate for an hour. Um, if you're here as a patient, you can relax. I'm probably gonna go do a little bit of work and then we'll be back and apply the red light. All right, so we finished our one hour incubation. And again, we'll be treating the skin now with the red light. So what's happened during the hour of incubation, the amino levulonic acid, again, we're using Glyco ALA today, um, has penetrated into the skin. And now that it's penetrated, we're going to activate the solution using the red light. We have a new toy. Um, this is a poly light and it uses red LED. The benefit of the red LED is it penetrates deeper in the skin than the blue light. We'll still continue using blue light primarily for acne treatments, but for treating cosmetic things and also in the future likely for treating actinic keratosis, we'll be using our new red light. So we're going to get it started and you can see what it looks like. Officially, I should be wearing goggles, so I'll put those on after we get it started. <laughs> So the light will be on for 20 minutes and um, afterwards we can, we'll show you some pictures at the end of the video to show what it looks like immediately after. It really shouldn't look any different at all. And then we'll also put a series of uh, pictures from throughout the week so you can see what the downtime and the post-op recovery will be. So looking forward to having something exciting and new in the office. Um, it's really not something brand new, it's just sort of old made new. Have a great day. Call for an appointment today and learn more by going to our website at wvderm.com.